Would there have been a lot of pressure on Jack um, Whiten when he comes grand final time come the weekend after Bradley Clyde tipping him to win the Churchill medal? And, of course, this man is the red-hot favourite to be winning the Churchill medal come grand final day. He was also the red-hot favourite last night to be winning the Dally M, but that doesn't always mean you win. The actual award, Loz, does it? No, there's plenty of pressure um, leading into an event like the Dally M's when everyone's patting you on the back and saying, well, you'll win the award. <laughs> um, and you go there and you're a little bit nervous yeah. because you're thinking, oh, am I going to win or, or, or you know, will, will I miss out on the award? But I don't think anyone could argue the winner last night, James Tedesco. He's had an outstanding season. He won... Uh, Brad Fittler medal for the second consecutive year. He's the reigning Roosters player of the year, the Jack Gibson medalist. Uh, and then, of course, last night winning the Dally M medal for the best player. He's still only 26 years of age. He's coming into the best form of his life. He's about to play in his second grand final against the Canberra Raiders, and I'm sure he'd be pl uh, full of confidence coming into this weekend's game. And we're lucky enough that he's joined us on the line this morning. Morning, Teddy. Morning, guys. Thanks for having me. No, thank you. Uh... Pretty special night last night, Mum. Uh, mate, you took your mother, yeah. um, and she would have uh, been just as happy as you, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, she was loving it. I think um, she <laughs> asked me for a few years to come with me, and um, yeah, taking along the red carpet and getting interviewed, she, she was she was loving it. But um, yeah, like you said, there was a lot of you get a bit nervous. There. Everyone's sort of telling you you're going to win. I'm sort of sitting there, not thinking I'm going to, and then um, yeah, obviously the. To win the award, it's yeah, a bit of relief, but obviously yeah, a pretty proud moment. Yeah, how, how did you handle that? Because I, yeah. I, I, I imagine it can only be sort of difficult. Everyone sort yeah. of saying, and you sort of half get your hopes up, and then you're watching the count <laughs> unfold, and you're trying to work out in your mind, where's the people that are chasing me, and you know, where, how will I poll? And then you're starting to think, did I play well in that game? Do you think I would have got – how does your mind work on a night like that? Yeah, because I sort of went into it like, oh, you know, whatever happens, happens. I'm not really, you know, not much I can do. Just enjoy the night with mum. And, and then, yeah, it's sort of, if you have the interviews, everyone's like, hey, your favourite, you know, you're going to win or whatever. I'm like, oh, yeah, see how we go. And then, yeah, then you get to the last five or six rounds, I'm thinking, oh, jeez, I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I've <laughs> got points. And I don't know if I'll, and I think, and Melbourne won so many games, I'm like, Smith will get heaps of points. And I'm, yeah, it definitely, definitely plays me nerves a bit, but, um, yeah, obviously, to get there in the end, uh, yeah, pretty big, mate. Uh, congratulations! It's only one half of the a very, very important double you want, though, mate. Yeah, exactly. I've uh, got the preparations on the way for, for Sunday, so yeah, I think that's yeah. Uh, I'm glad to have that all done now, so I can yeah. uh, really focus on that and, and prepare as best I can. Yeah, I was about to ask you, Teddy. You're lucky that you've been through this process before. You've been involved in Grand Final week, and also with the. The experience you've gained from playing State of Origin and the build-up to an Origin game, how is, important is it to to be able to put the distractions aside and just focus in on your training and get yourself right for the game? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's important. Even at the start of the week, everyone's talking about the game already. It's still so far away, so you don't mm. want to obviously play the game in your head too much or you know, think about what could happen. So, yeah, it's important, obviously, at training, everyone's knuckling down and high focus on you know, what we need to do and execute, but then... Yeah, when when we've got time away, it's good just to you know, get away from footy for a bit and um, get away from the media and people talking about it. So, it's, yeah, it's, it's important to get that done. I think, obviously, uh, Robbo's pretty, um, you know, gets, gets, that, gets that across to all the players pretty well. Do you have a feeling about Jake Friend, mate, whether he'll play or not? Uh, yeah, he, trained, he did a light test yesterday. He still couldn't really tell much. I think they're going to give him, yeah, till, um, you know, the last, last training test to see how, how he pulls through, but uh, I know Jake will be doing everything he can to get there, and I know he won't put himself out there if he's not 100%. So um, I think every game he's played in this year has been awesome for us. Just hasn't It's been pretty disappointing for him. He hasn't had many games, but um, yeah, I know he'll be doing everything he can. Would this be a fair comment, uh, Teddy? Well, you've played well and won your games in your semi-finals. You, you haven't played your best game yet? Mm -hmm. As in, yeah. not you personally, but the team. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, Robbo's um, definitely said that to us. Where um, both games we've in the finals we've won, but we still haven't yeah, probably been satisfied with our performance. I think you know, the first semi we had a great first half, and then the second half wasn't great. And then on the weekend, our um, you know, our defence was really good, but then our attack was a bit scrappy. So yeah, we're we're definitely not satisfied, and we know. I think the exciting thing is we know we've got better footy in us. So hopefully, I think last year we saved our best game until the grand final. So. Yeah, I think it's just to do that again. <laughs> that, that's the ideal scenario, isn't it? Uh, Teddy, um, what about the preparation this week 
and Trent Robinson this week. You know, if you've won the grand final, do you change anything or, or are you following the same pattern in the build-up to this game? Yeah, I was trying to remember what we did last year. I can't even really <laughs> remember the week. It was a bit of, bit of a blur. But oh, I think Robbo said it's, it's, it's been a different year and a different... You know, we've got, from where uh, we've got to now, yeah, it's been a... It hasn't been the same as last year, so I think, obviously, Robert's got that experience. We've got a lot of experienced players, so everyone knows how to prepare for these big games. But, um, yeah, Robbo, um, you know, he, he's always cool, calm, collected and gets us focused and ready to go. So, yeah, it's been, been pretty similar, I guess. Yeah. Um, what are you expecting from the, the Raiders? I mean, they're coming in as massive underdogs. A lot of people expecting them... Not to win. Um, it's it's a case of the Roosters showing up and mm. getting the the job done. <laughs> That's the general consensus out there in the community. I, I know you guys don't think like that, but mm. you know when when people are telling you you know you, you're going to win the competition yeah. and this is going Go to the happen. Crow. Yeah, how do you cope with that? And what how do you, what's your sort of coping me- mechanisms? Yeah, I think it's it's important because you know we played such a. I think everyone thought that was such a big game on the weekend against Melbourne. And everyone was talking about that as a big grand final, and it's just important to, um, you know, once that game's done, we need to, um, you know, recover and uh, and sort of forget about that and know we've got still you know, another another job to get done. So, I think Canberra have been in great all year, been very unpredictable, and they've exceeded a lot of expectations. So they've got they've got nothing to lose. They're going to come up here and and give it and you know play their best footy. So, but it's more just for us knowing what we need to do to play our best and. Um, going out next year, it? James, we had to have a little bit of a giggle because, you know, we all go, oh, Latrell Mitchell probably hasn't been in his very, very, very best throughout the year. He scored 267 <laughs> points. He scored 19 tries from 24 games and kicked 90. Now he's got 96 goals. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, do, do you get the feeling, oh, he could explode in the grand final? Oh, yeah, 100%. I think, yeah, you look back at his, at his season of, and how young he is, yeah. Um, you know, he, he tops a bit sometimes, but he's just such a such a talent, and we all know what he can do um, with the ball and in any defence as well. So, yeah, I think yeah, we all uh, never know what what Latrell can do. He can come out and can, can win the game for us at any time. So. Um, yeah, let's hope that's on Sunday. I reckon you would have planned for the uh, to be careful of Josh Hodson on the weekend with the one-on-one strips. Yeah, I know. He's, 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 he's pretty good at it. it. He's mastered it, hasn't he? Oh. It's, um, yeah, he's got so many this year. So it's definitely um, just us being aware of that. We know uh, not just him, but a few of the camera boys are pretty good at it. So it's more just awareness and carrying the ball that, um, that they might look for that and um, just trying to counter that skew of the ball. James, congratulations on just a wonderful season. Um, good luck on Sunday night as well for the Roosters up against the Canberra Raiders. And congrats on last night winning the Dally M. And thanks so much for your time. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Nah, thank you, James Tedesco. Yeah, wonderful oh. player. Um, outstanding performer this season at every level. Unbelievable. It's just, it's been that good, hasn't it? It's quite incredible. What about this? Wideline windows and doors. Don't forget, if you're thinking about renovating or building, give Wideline windows and doors a go. Go to their website for full inspirational ideas to make your project a success. There's advice and tips to get you started. They even have a colour selector and a window planning tool, plus free online quotes returned in 48 business hours. Just upload your plans or tell them what you need easy. There's never been a better time to take a closer look at Wideline windows and doors website. Go to their website, wideline.com.au. We're approaching 8 o'clock and news time with Madison. Wasn't she popular yesterday? Oh, at lunch? very popular. Yeah. Very, very popular. As she always is, man. As she always is. Along with Jamie Rogers, who's coming up in this half hour as well.